women's doubles semi-finals to come. It's uh, Liang Wei King and Wang Chang, the current world number ones and the beaten finalists from last year, up against the former champions from two years ago, Hoki and Kobayashi. Well, as far as the men's doubles is concerned, men's doubles and the mixed doubles, the only two disciplines uh, this year at semi-final stage, where we've got four different flags next to the four uh, pairs in semi-final stage. Ranky Reddy and Shetty, as we saw earlier, came through, uh, coming uh, back, Min saving six game point Wang opportunities Chang. against China. the world champions to book their place in the final. But who will join them tomorrow? Will it be Versus the world number Hoki. ones against Yugo the world number twos? Japan. Or will the former world champions, the left and right handed combination of Hoki and Kobayashi and reach a second Jeshan final Yen. here Singapore. at the Malaysia Open? Judge, well, Sinberg, for the Chinese pair, it's only their second appearance here at the Malaysia Open and looking to reach a second consecutive final. That would be pretty special. Their opponents are in a third consecutive semi-final at this particular tournament. And as you can see, this is the sixth meeting the between these Next two race. pairs. And Liang Wei Kang okay. and Wang Chang have won three of the previous five, five, including the last two. So, so the Chinese pair won the toss of the coin and chose to serve. Is that right, Greg? Yes. That is correct, yes. Yep. Well done. It's always quite difficult to hear sometimes what the umpire's saying and, and figure out who's won the toss. The Yang Wei Kang is 23 years of age from Guangdong province in the south of China. He and his partner are enjoying their 11th consecutive week as world number ones. Seven finals for them last year, winning four titles. Uh, Wang Chang, he's 22 years of age from Ningbo in Xijiang province on the east coast of China, just south of Shanghai. And as far as their match is concerned, well, they beat Man and T in the first round, then Matsui and Takeuchi of Japan. Quarterfinal was a repeat of last year's final against Alfie and Anadianto, but a reversed result from a year ago, beating the Indonesians in three games. Tokoro Hoki is 28 years of age. In fact, they're both 28. He's from Yamaguchi. And uh, they are former world number ones, as you can see. 14 weeks from the end of September 2022, and it was the World Championships in Welva in 2021, where they won a gold medal, having been silver medalists at the previous World Championships. The left-hander, Yugo Kobayashi, was born in Miyagi Prefecture on the east coast of Hongshu. And looking at their results, well, they beat the Olympic champions in the first round, Li Yang and Wang Chilin, and then the European Championship silver medalists, Dunn and Hall from Scotland and then beat Ong Yu Sin and Tu Yi Yi of Malaysia in two straight games yesterday. And Ray they said Ray. that Tu Yi Yi seemed to injure his knee early in the second game and that may have affected them in that second game. So our court officials for this last semi-final of the day, Jess Chan from Singapore, and Jakob Simberg from Denmark is the service judge. Well, three finals last year for the Japanese pair. They won one title, that was the Singapore Open, uh, beating uh, their opponents of today in the final. Here's the Japanese coaching bench. Sam Kim Her, former Malaysian player, on the left as we looked at them. And 
Chen Chi Chu, who was winner of the men's doubles title here back in 2002 with Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Takoro Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi, Japan. And on my left, Liang Wei King and Wang Chang, China. Wang Chang to serve to Yogo Kobayashi, Lobo, play. So the current world number ones, Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang against the former world champions. Tukuro Hoki and Yuko Kobayashi. One love. Well, they caused a bit of a sensation a year ago, did the Chinese pair. They weren't seeded when they reached the so final. The As I was saying, One they lost out all. to Elfian and Adianto in the final a year ago, but in the second round had beaten Gideon and Sukumolio. Quarterfinal beat Astrup and Rasmussen, and in the semi final, they beat so the Ranky Reddy and Shetty, the two pair that awaits one. the winners of this match. That's not a bad set of results when you're unseeded a year ago, was it? That's a very good run, beating lots of top caliber players there. Whoa. So, what do you think that uh, the Chinese one. pair? What are their qualities or what have they improved upon to, to go from unseeded a year ago to being the world number ones now? Great question. Um, they're, they're so fast. I was actually about to say that they've struggled a little bit in, in the last few months. But they had, as you said, a great run uh, of four. And they've got better at their, two, the areas where they were three. weaker. It's quite uh, well known. They have a, a specific formation they like to be in, um, which is which is Liang Wei King. Yes, Liang Wei King is the rear court oh. player, and uh, Wang Chang uh, coming forwards to the net. Three. Oh. He's he's almost a little bit reminds me of Kevin Sukumojo in his his net play. He's very uh, relaxed around the net. His racket is very fast. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's so such a powerful smash. Four, yeah. Three. But I also think they've got better in the reverse roles of that. Uh, so their rotation around each other uh, on attack is incredible. Four. Yeah. But th th I can see exactly. You're not the only one Five. that thinks that. Three. That shot there from Wang Chang, very similar Four. to Kevin Sanjay Sukumolio. Very similar. And that. Oh. No, he's yeah. missed that one. Kind of having his racket a little bit lower. Uh, in a relaxed way. Which is not something we'd recommend to everyone for sure. But he has just lightning racket speed. No, oh, I think how quick he would be if his racket was up ready. You coaches, when you do your coaching, you, let you tell your students get the racket up ready in doubles. Yeah, so not not too early though. I think it, he just ex Six, holds the extremes four. of having it really low when he doesn't actually need to have it high, and then just as his opponents are about to hit their shot, he gets it all really quick. Yeah. So he does actually have it ready, but it doesn't look like it's ready. Okay. I mean, so far in this tournament, both pairs have been on great form. Yeah, I agree with that. Seven, Judging by the uh, previous encounters from these two pairs, I think we're in for a cracker. We've been both, all five have been close, I think. Yeah, last time we met was in the group stage of the World Tour Finals in Hangzhou, 23-21, 21-17.
to be sold. Four, five, eight. Both pairs struggling Nine, with a lift length. Five. Just adjusting early on here. It's a play so far. Oh. That's a super return of so. So the solver. Six. in the stadium you can see in the background there still says five minutes only played but it must be near six minutes now I'm guessing well, that's not much is it to get to the mid-game interval very fast rallies so eleven six the advantage to the current world number one is Liang Wei King and Wang Chang. And quite frankly, as you were saying, Greg, just before the interval, I always miss that. Very, very fast rallies, hardly any rallies Since at all. Over. What has this pair, Seven, the former 11. world champions from Japan, what have they got to do to, to really get themselves in this opening game? I think we know from watching the previous matches, it's not going to be lots of big open rallies. It's going to be Since more over. fast, flat drives. So Twelve. they need to challenge Seven. that. They need to um, step up their game in that, those areas. So taking the, the net shots on more like that. Getting the attack because I think the difference between the two pairs in the first 11 points was that the Chinese pair were more attacking. They managed from the first three shots in the rally to get on the attack more. And they were very clinical when they did get on the attack. And also into that, the, the Japanese pair also have a preferred formation with Yuki, sorry, Poki serving, as we just saw, so the solar, with, with Kobayashi at the 13, back. Eight. So Hoki will go forward to the net more. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Shot from Kobayashi. Hot. Some solar. Nine. Thirty. Yeah. He shouldn't have. Yang Wei Kang shouldn't have gambled in his forehand there. His defence is good. He should have stayed in a backhand position. In my opinion. Should should uh, a player not? Um, be, they shouldn't be overcommitted either way, should they? No, I think it's okay to maybe when it's a really short lift, when you're just oh, going yeah. for like okay. an outrageous yes. spot. I so don't think that was really short, especially 40, with nine. Oki at the back. I don't think he smashes as hard. Or such a steep angle. He's not yeah. as tall as uh, his partner. He's only five foot four. Kobayashi, about five 15, foot nine. Nine. Smash. You can hear 
get the sound off it. Yeah. It's incredible. 69. He winds up and then explodes his whole body through the shuttle. Moment. Yeah, literally. Nine. Former world champions and former winners of the Malaysian Open. Not in this oh, open oh. game, really. Oh, that's delightful. I love it. That's what they need to do. Then. Ironic that it's the left-hander, Kobayashi, that took the net position there because you were saying that it's favourable or they prefer it when Hoki goes forward. Yeah, I think that might be a signal because at the moment I think Liang Wei Kang's... Um, sorry, Wang, Wang Chang's controlling the game from the front court. So that might be a signal to uh, his partner Hoki. You need to start... You need to start pushing up and creating these opportunities. Yeah. Well, that was a run of five straight points, and that really has put the Chinese world number ones in a very strong position in this opening game. And such good composure there for Wang Chang so to play the next shot and then 19, guide it down 11. the side of the court. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Two points away from the opening game. I think he's already hit. I think he's already hit about six smash winners in this yeah. in this game. Opportunities. So the solar twelve twenty. Game on their second game point opportunity. And after just twelve minutes of play. And Wang Chang, 21-12. 21-12 confirmed by the umpire. Opening game. That's extraordinarily quick. And the Japanese former champions have got an awful lot of thinking to do. 12-12 minutes. <laughs> Second game, level, play. 
also the opening game in double quick time, just 12 minutes and 21-12 for Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang. So the score, one love. Service error One. to Koro, who are oh. pokey. Oh. Yeah, it was the powerful smash from the Anway Kang. Two. One. They can't handle his smash at the moment. No. But it's Wang Chang who's doing an incredible job of, of getting that smash. Creating the opportunity for the lift. By his interceptions at the net. Yes. Or his drives like that. Yeah, and then just... Oh! So the solar Has been doing, he's doing well coming forwards and playing, four. yes. The drives all the net shots, forcing them to lift. Shot, they have to lift it. It's so simple when you look at it like that, isn't it? Seems such a simple uh, tactic, but yeah. it, it is much more difficult to implement than it sounds. Oh my goodness, he stepped into that. That was a little rush. Four, three, oh. Yeah, very brave. I think it's because often when people look to see if it's going in or not, they will generally bring it down slowly. That's why he decided to make that move forwards. And a better start for Hoki and Kobayashi now. Dear, that's his second so service error. error. Four, all. Yeah, good intersection from Kobayashi. So the solar error. Smiling as he's talking to his partner. Says, You played me into trouble there, lifting cross court. I do love how these two always have, seem to have fun on the court. Yeah. The challenges fall out. So, our first challenge for this men's double semi final. Was out. Well done, Challenge Judge. unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So it's over. Five, six. Play. Six. 
Oh, good smash. And good vision Seven, from Hoki. Seven, six. Yeah. Well, the Japanese pair were one of three former champions Seven, in the draw at the six. start of the week. The Sun and Seti are one. And Alfian and Ardianto, last year's champions, were the other two. That have gone over. Summer. That would have been a beauty. But sport is not about oh. ifs and buts. Giving away too many cheap points, I think, the Japanese pair, don't you, Greg? Yeah. Return. I think it's fine margins oh. at this level against a pair that are playing as well as the Chinese are to kind of go for go for the shot. So you have to really go for it, which means that you're not playing with any margin for error. Yeah. So that's that's why you're making more errors. Yeah. How we've just seen there, a backhand drive from Wang Chang. He really tried to skim the top of the net on that. Probably didn't need to though. Often, it's easy when we're watching, but Nine. when you're on the court, it feels oh. like there's less space than there actually is. Yes. No, it's well left. It was definitely short. That was a great bit of skill there from Kobayashi. Looked like he was going to play the net shot and then at the last minute just put a little bit more speed on it. So there only be one point in it Ten. at the big game oh. interval. Can't believe it. Match clock says 22 minutes and we're very nearly halfway through the second game. Well, it is the former champions who have the one point advantage at the mid-game interval here in the second game. He was talking 11, about 10. when you're in a good position, or going Play. forwards firstly, and then when you're in a good position, trying to stop it off uh, to maybe to maybe get the lift. Yeah, about about going forwards, getting in good positions, seems to be what he was talking about. but the shuttle was tumbling and he couldn't control it. 13, One chance. And I would actually say that's what the Japanese have done better so far in this game is, is move forwards more, try and get that net and get a lift. Yeah, get to the net first. Wow. That was a great move there. 
A little bit fortunate with the neck cords. He's in already. It's just fantastic, isn't it? I'd say he earned that. He earned the neck cord. Yeah. Yeah, you do sometimes earn your own luck. Once they're on the attack, the Chinese pair are relentless, aren't they? They don't give up that attacking play at all. So the score, 14, 12. Brackets, I think, didn't it, Greg? Yeah, good placement. It's another smash winner from Liao Li Wei Gan. Yeah, we should have been keeping a count, shouldn't we, about how many smash winners? Oh, oh look at that net shot. Brilliant. And the world number one is a back level. 14 oh. Sideline. So the score 15 40. That's so good. So the score. That shuttle had gone past him, and yet he still plays four. a backhand winner from it. Kobayashi doing exactly as you suggested, which was move forward. Yeah, they stepped up the last two points. 16. Doing exactly what they needed to do. Fast. 
from you, Goko Bayashi. Is there? <laughs> Dive from Kobayashi. How did he get up Thank so you. quickly? Just seemed to bounce up. Mm. Good diving technique. That's quick. Brilliant. That is absolutely sensational from one champ. You can see the Japanese are so comfortable when one champ's at the back. And then as soon as the Yang Wei Ken gets to the back, that's when they're really dangerous. Two points away from the final. Lucky neck cord for Hokey. So the opportunity for Hoki and Kobayashi to send this the full distance. It's one game more. Three straight points to send us to a third game. Match clock shows just 33 minutes for the first two games, and it's one game more. that second game. I think many control. I think you know what? I just stop. Many stop. That's it.
So the third and deciding game, our last semi-final of the day here at the Petronas Malaysia Open. Okay. Well, one thing we know for certain, Greg, is the final tomorrow will be uh, between two pairs who oh. have been number one in the world. Yeah. Because both these one pairs love. we're watching now current world number ones against the former world number ones and we've got former world number ones already in the final ranky ready in Shetty. Mm. All very recently as well. Yeah. Two love. I think uh, the Chinese Lang Wei Kang and uh, Wang Chang will be looking to get off to a really good start on this side. Rally is a prime example of how Wang Chang is more clinical in how he can finish a rally from the back of the court. Liang Wei Keng, he had a couple of opportunities himself, but couldn't put the shuttle away. Yeah, and I think we saw that a little bit at the end of the second game then. Hmm. Liang Wei Keng just struggling a little bit at the front, of, front of the court. But if they can rotate around each other like they just did then, then there's no problem. So early, such a short swing, so he can be as early as possible. There's another great backhand as well for Manchin. Oh, this is a blistering start no. to this deciding game. Hoping. That was a softer what? smash that time, and it just disturbed the rhythm of the defence. I think of the Chinese pair. Yeah, they couldn't use the speed of the show. Another service error. Six, one. Second from Kobayashi. Six, one. Judgment. Seven, it's ridiculously sharp there. Yes, isn't it? It, look, it makes it look easy. How much is sharpness and how much is actually great anticipation? I think 50 50. Really? Yeah. Like because I'm just thinking about Two, former champions. Uh, a Simon Setia one. Setia one was a great reader, is a great reader yeah. at the front of the court. It, there's no getting away from the fact that as he's fast approaching the age of 40, he's not as fast as he used hmm. to be. But he can still read the game exceptionally well. And he still seems to be in the right place at the right time. Yeah, and I think he's probably the best player, arguably the best player to have ever played the game in terms of reading the game. Yeah. Oh, and, that, and that's why he's still doing well now. Yeah, I wouldn't argue with that at all. But the, uh, the speed, as you say, has decreased a little bit. Oh. 
Wang Chang is definitely uh, he's definitely got the speed. And it's not always yes, it's not always reactions, it's like you. you're predicting mechanisms that you can train to when someone is holding their racket in a certain Eight, position, two. where are they likely to be able to play? And then adjusting your body to be able to get in that right position. Yeah. It's not just pure reaction speed. No. Oh! So I think it's uh, important for Ho Hoki and Kobayashi to close this gap before the 11 interval as much as they possibly can. It's a very, very yeah, commanding three. lead in this deciding Two. game. Yes. Eight point advantage. To the current world number ones, Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang. Three calls the umpire. The advantage with the Chinese pair. <laughs> and that's gone long with the back line. When you're down on court, Greg, you have to sort of, uh, as a player, you have to hang on to the fact that, right, uh, I did better from the far side of the court and won the second game. I'm now finishing that end of the court, and, and therefore you have belief that uh, you can come back in this. Because the ends do make a difference. Yeah, absolutely. Like you saw, Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang won the first game 21 12. Yes, they only lost. Yes, Hoki and Kobayashi only won to 19, but they did win that second game. Well, that's not helping their self-confidence so or their belief. 13, 5. And 11, 3 is, is a big deficit. Yeah. But we've seen greater comebacks. And that, I think, five. just demonstrating what you were saying is to why the Chinese pair have improved so much over the last 12 months. This ability to play from either position, with Wang Chang having so improved his play from the back 14. of the court. Yeah, absolutely. Choice of shot there from Wang Chang. So far in, the, in, in this match, he's been very good at just playing a net shot from there. He needs to keep his concentration.
So the song number 15 seconds. Once again, Wan Chang reading it really well around the front of the court. A ten point advantage at this stage of the match. Well, we saw in the other men's double semi final a huge run of points. Yeah. So you never know. You do never know. Especially with this Chinese pair, when they do have a big lead, they like to have fun. So I can see the last couple of rallies, maybe they've switched off a little bit. So it's over. But you can't be, you can't be making uh, your third service mistake in Kobe. No. Sat back a bit here, Yang Wen Kang and Wang Chang. They're not over the line yet. And they still need to keep really going forwards to get the attack. And playing the shot in a downwards direction. Good flick serve. just a moment ago, now that's been halved to only five points. And all of a sudden it becomes believable again. But then you lift to Liang Wei Kang and you realise maybe it's difficult. Point opportunities. Always challenge here. over and the second consecutive final for Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang 
21-13 in the deciding game in a match lasting 49 minutes. 49 minutes for three games of men's doubles is very quick match indeed. Match won by Liang Weiqing and Wang Chao. 21-12, Second consecutive final and only their second appearance at the Malaysia Open. Remarkable. This is the final rally. The return of serve was pushed long of the back line. So confirmation of that scoreline. 21-12. 19-21, 21-13 in the deciding game. So a few selfies, a few autographs, no doubt, for the fans who have stayed here till almost 10 o'clock at night. And that concludes our semi-finals for the day. Uh, but we now know the lineup for finals day tomorrow. And what a great lineup we have. We'll start.